Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome aboard. Hopefully you're going to hit that subscribe button before you go any further and realise how fucking garbage this content is. And if you're one of them little weirdos who's already hit subscribe, then consider hitting the notification bell as well. If you're going to be a glutton for punishment, you might as well go all in, am I right? So today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Shadol Invoke. That's right, 2021, and nobody has given up on this deck just yet. It's still very much playable, not quite at the heights it was a little while ago, before all of this weird stuff happened in the world and locked everybody down and no fun was had at all. Seriously, 2020 is the longest year ever. It's 2020 part two. It just never ends. Why have you forsaken me? Seriously though, this deck is still super playable, super budget friendly. Well, for the most part. And all of that other good stuff. And anything that isn't budget friendly can definitely have alternatives used instead. So for today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a deck list I've been playing with a little bit online and seems to be working perfectly well so far. So I wanted to share it with you guys and give you some idea of what you could do for your own builds. Although for the most part, let's be honest, Stroll Invoked is pretty cookie cutter. Having said that, if you are watching today's video and you are feeling a little bit inspired and you'd like to pick up some Yu-Gi-Oh! singles, or even Pokemon ones for that matter, you should consider checking out Jam Jam Cards UK, the other channel sponsors, and there's a link in the description. Courtesy of yours truly, you're going to get yourself a nice discount if you go ahead and use that on their eBay store. But anyway, that's enough waffling on from me. Let's get stuck in to the deck profile. So let me first apologise if you do hear a bit of a whirring sound in the background. My laptop is going absolutely fucking ham at the moment and making a ton of noise. You'll also notice here that we've got two OCG cards that stick out like sore thumbs. These are the new Shadol cards that we don't yet have in the TCG. However, looking at the description for Ghosts from the Past, it does mention we are going to get some new Shadol support, which makes me believe that we may see these released in that set. So with that in mind, I've taken the fucking liberty to go ahead and just shove them into the deck anyway. So anyway, that's enough waffling on from me. Let's have a go ahead and look and see what we have here. So Red Eyes, Black Dragon, Dark Magician. These are, of course, engine requirements for Dragoon. I think Dragoon's a really good option in here. In a lot of decks, it's probably too Ricky. But I think that this is one of the ones that can really take advantage of the fact that even if you open them in your hand, it really doesn't matter. Cards like Invocation can allow you to still go into it. So with that in mind, we are running that engine in here. Then we have our Shadol lineup. I think for the most part, this is relatively uh, kind of standard, really. Two copies of Beast because drawing cards is good. One copy of Dragon because back row is a thing at the moment, but honestly, we don't want to overcommit to it. Skamato 2 seems fine. Two copies of Ariel seems fine. Triple copies of Wendy because something from the deck is insane. And then we've got two more names here, of course, with Hedgehog and with Falco. And then, of course, we have our Void and we have our Genius. Uh, Void being able to mill cards from the top of your deck is really, really nice. And of course, we can then go into Grista as well. A card that I think is highly underrated and something that you should definitely be running in your builds if you have the space to do so. And then we have Genius, which is basically just an infinite impermanence when being sent from the deck to the graveyard. We then have the Clown Engine. This is pretty much uh, self-explanatory. Triple copies of Alistair, the best normal summon in the deck, hands down. And then, of course, we continue with our Invocation Engine. Magical Meltdown at three. You need to play it. Triple copies of Invocation itself. Absolutely mandatory. Uh, triple copies of Shadol Fusion. I think this is perfect as is. And triple copies of El Shadol Fusion. You really just want to be able to get those Shadols out of your hand. You really don't want them sat there. Too much if possible. Uh, El Shadol Fusion, of course, allows you to interrupt your opponent by setting up cards during their turn, which is a really nice touch. We have a single copy of Red Eyes Fusion. This is just for the engine. Again, it really doesn't matter if you don't see uh, a way to send it from the deck. Of course, that's the ideal way to do it. But we have other ways of making Dragoon in this deck. We have a single copy of Terraforming because we're playing field spells. So, I mean, that pretty much explains itself. We have a single copy of Foolish Burial because it's a really fucking good starter card and in this deck it's no exception. We have triple copies of Forbidden Droplet. Uh, the way the format is shaping up at the moment, hand traps are becoming slightly less prevalent to be quite honest with you and cards like Forbidden Droplet are becoming a more important way to out your opponent's problematic cards. There's also the fact that it gets to send stuff to your graveyard which can have huge benefits based on the way these cards are worded. We have three copies of Triple Tactics Talent for when you do get hit by those hand traps and we all know if you're playing Alice, your opponent is going to throw a thousand of them at you a fucking turn because that's how it goddamn works. So we're going to go ahead and punish them right back by using this card. 
And then our final two cards in the deck, the two Shadol Traps. Pretty self-explanatory in my opinion. If you play the deck, you know exactly how this rolls. And we then move on to our extra deck. So again, the first note here is Gris, the one that I discussed earlier. When your opponent would special summon a monster or monsters while you have a Shadol card in your hand, you can negate the summon and if you do destroy that monster, then send a Shadol card from your hand to the graveyard. That's pretty insane considering we're running a bigger Shadol engine than we would normally. This is far more likely to be live. It's a really easy way to get it out into the field. Of course, you can send Void with it, which is a really good option as well. Just something to keep in mind. I really like this card and it's gotten even better with the additional support we've seen coming out. We have a single copy of App Cologne. Uh, again, it's pretty self-explanatory. Much the same with Winda. This I would kind of like to play two copies. You could potentially cut other cards for space for this, but honestly, one is perfectly fine if you don't have the room. Two copies of Construct is more than enough, to be quite honest with you, and that's really enough for our Shadol lineup for our extra deck. Two copies of Mechaba because one just really isn't sufficient for the most part and we have the room to run the second. We absolutely should. It gives us more to work with in the longer games. Orgoades is a free win. Honestly, every time I think I've ever summoned this card, it's been a free win. Single copy of Purgatrio because smashing through the fucking opponent like nothing is a really cool option. Uh, this card just wins games when your opponent doesn't think about it, isn't ready for it. Maybe they set up a lot of cards in their field with no real protection from battle, and this card will tear right through them. We have a single copy of Dragoon. Obviously, one is plenty anyway, um, but this card's just really strong, and being able to play it in this deck is really nice. This is one of the few decks where it feels a far less bricky option, considering Invocation as a way to fusion some of them out of your hand. The amount of games that that's happened to me when I've been playing these variants of the deck is just absolutely insane. We did have Secure Gardener and Almirage, of course, are Alistair kind of mandatory cards that we need in there to be able to play him. Our fodder for our invocation fusions and all of that good stuff. Cross Sheep, of course, because we're playing a fusion based deck, so why the hell not? Predaplan Vert Anaconda again, we're playing a fusion based deck, so why not? And our final card here is Appaloosa. There could be a few different options you could consider running if you don't want to put this in here, but honestly, I think that this is probably the best link for, for this particular build. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all for today's deck profile. Hopefully it's helped you in some way, and by virtue of the fact that you made it this far into the video, hopefully you've already hit subscribe, and if you have done so, hopefully you've also hit the notification bell. It's worth noting that we don't just do deck profiles on this channel, we are just going through a bit of a slew of them at the moment because of the nature of what's going on in the world. Can't really attend events and all of that nonsense that you really don't need to hear about. But the point is, is that we do other great content on here, so if you don't want to miss out, make sure you have hit that red button. Once again, guys, I do really appreciate you being here. Thank you very much for coming along, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.